Maka Exchange. Add languages. Mount Hazen, Papua New Guinea. The Maka is a highly ritualized system of exchange in the Mount Hazen area, Papua New Guinea. That has become emblematic of the anthropological concepts of gift economy and of big man. Political system. Maka are reciprocal gifts of pigs through which social status is achieved. Maka refers specifically to the increment in the size of the gift, giving more brings greater prestige to the giver. However, reciprocal gift giving was confused by early anthropologists with profit seeking, as the lending and borrowing of money at interest. 1. This gift exchange system was analyzed by anthropologist Marshall Salins as a means of distinguishing between the exchange principles of reciprocity and redistribution on the one hand, and the associated political principles of status and rank on the other. Salins used this example to contrast the regional political differences between the status-based big man political system of Melanesia that engage in gift exchange, with the socially ranked chiefly political systems of Polynesia associated with redistributive systems. 2. Since making this comparison, the Maka system has been the subject of extensive debate on the nature of the gift, and of so-called gift economies. It has become a staple of classroom discussion. As a result of the ethnographic film Onka's Big Maka, which documents one Maka cycle in the early 1970s, Gifts and Prestige, The Big Man Forward Slash Rubbish Man Continuum, Edit. Social status in the big man political system is the result of giving larger gifts than one has received. These gifts are of a limited range of goods, primarily pigs and scarce pearl shells. From the coast. To return the same amount as one has received. Inamaka is simply the repayment of a debt, strict reciprocity. Maka is the extra. To some, this represents interest on an investment. However, one is not bound to provide maka, only to repay the debt. One adds maka to the gift to increase one's prestige, and to place the receiver in debt. This constant Renewal of the debt relationship keeps the relationship alive. A. Debt fully paid ends further interaction. Giving more than one. Receives establishes a reputation as a big man, whereas the. Simple repayment of debt, or failure to fully repay, pushes one's reputation towards the other end of. The scale, rubbish man. 3. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Big men are the preferred people to give gifts to, since one has a reasonable chance of repayment. With extra. Gift giving is not altruistic. The extra one receives back can be re-gifted to others. Increasing the number of exchange partners and building a wider network. This wider network returns even more, growing both network size and gift value. Giving a gift to a rubbish man is a waste, since they cannot repay their debt with maka, interest. Gift giving thus becomes a competition between a limited number of high-status men, each of whom tries to give bigger gifts than they received. The networks can grow to encompass several hundred men, each competing with the others, to give the biggest gift to a competitor. 4. The expansion in size of gift and counter-gift, and of the political network it creates, eventually reaches its upper limit set by the carrying capacity of the land, and the ability of followers to husband the pigs. When a big man is finally unable to repay a gift with maka, he is defeated. However, 
the winning competitor is now without the extra he requires to repay his gifts to his followers, and his reputation also suffers and the expansive network that had been built up starts to crumble. Other big men now take advantage and the competition for supremacy begins again. In the documentary Onka's Big Maka, Onka must try three times before he succeeds in staging his Maka. His gift consists of a truck, 600 pigs, 10,000 Australian dollars, 8 cows, and 12 cassowaries. Reciprocity versus Redistribution, Edit on a very general view, the array of economic transactions in the ethnographic record may be resolved into two types. First, those vice versa movements between two parties, known familiarly as reciprocity. The second, centralized movements, collection from members of a group, often under one hand, and redivision with this group. This is pooling or redistribution. On an even more general view, the two types merge. For pooling is an organization of reciprocities, a system of reciprocities, a fact of central bearing on the genesis of large-scale redistribution under chiefly Aegis. 5. Salins used the example of Maka to distinguish between the principles of reciprocity and Redistribution Reciprocity is a didic exchange relationship that can be characterized, imprecisely, as gift-giving. Maka exchanges between two individuals, each of whom aims to give more than they receive. It is thus unlike profit-seeking, though that does not make it a gift in the standard sense of the word. Maka exchange is not altruistic. One gives gifts to potential enemies to establish a relationship by placing them in debt. For a relationship to persist, there must be a delay between gift and counter-gift, one or the other party must always be in debt or there is no relationship. Without this debt relationship, there is no reciprocity. This is what distinguishes Maka from a true gift given with no expectation of return, something Salins calls generalized reciprocity. 6. Exchange without expectation of reciprocity is frequently defined as generalized exchange. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Redistribution, in contrast, involves the collection of tribute for example tax, by a legitimate authority, who reallocates it to members of the group. Salins refers to this as pooling. Reciprocity and redistribution are associated by Salins with two different types of political system. Reciprocal exchanges, as in Maka, give the big man political system its shape. Political relationships are Crafted out of the sense of debt created by a Maka gift. The big man has influence, but cannot. Command. Redistribution is common in the chiefly polities of Polynesia, such as Hawaii, Tonga, and Fiji where those of rank can demand tribute, which they redistribute to their followers. 7. Status versus Rank, Edit. Karl Polanyi I emphasized that economic exchange in non-market societies is embedded in other social institutions. There is no distinct economic system. Exchanges such as Maka have both economic, kin, religious and political aspects. They must be analyzed holistically, in terms of the institutions, such as Maka, in which it is embedded. Gift exchange thus has a political effect. Granting prestige or status to one, and a sense of debt in the other. A political system can be built. Out of these kinds of status relationships. Salins characterizes the difference between status and 
rank by highlighting that big man is not a role, but a status shared by many. The big man is not a prince of men, but a prince among men. The big man system is based on the ability to persuade, rather than command. It is laboriously built up, yet is highly unstable and inevitably collapses. 7. The redistributive exchanges found in the Polynesian Islands, in contrast, are embedded in a kinship system based on rank. Those who are junior kinsmen are obligated to obey those who are firstborn. Families of the firstborn are acknowledged as superior to families of the junior kinsmen, leading to the development of an aristocracy that can command tribute, which they redistribute among followers. The chiefly system is much more stable. 8. Gifts and Commodities, Edit Some anthropologists have contrasted gift economies from market economies as polar opposites, thereby implying that non-market exchange was always altruistic. This opposition was classically expressed by Chris Gregory in his book Gifts and Commodities, 1982. Gregory argued that Commodity exchange is an exchange of alienable objects between people who are in a state of reciprocal independence that establishes a quantitative relationship between the objects exchanged. Gift exchange is an exchange of inalienable objects between people who are in a state of reciprocal dependence that establishes a qualitative relationship between the transactors, emphasis added. 9. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Gregory contrasts gift and commodity exchange according to five criteria. Commodity exchange gift exchange. Immediate exchange delayed exchange. Alienable goods inalienable goods. Actors independent actors dependent. Quantitative relationship Qualitative relationship Between objects between people Other anthropologists, however, refused to see these different exchange spheres as such polar opposites. Marilyn Strathen, writing on a similar area in Papua New Guinea, dismissed the utility of The Opposition in the Gender of the Gift, 1988. 10. See also, edit. Onka's Big Maka a one-hour documentary film about Maka made for England's Granada TV's Disappearing World Series, D.I.R. Charlie Nan. Potlatch, a similar practice among some First Nations forward slash Native American peoples of West Coast. North America. Killer, a similar practice in the Trobrian Islands, Papua New Guinea. Sepik Coast Exchange, a similar practice in the Sepik Coast of Papua New Guinea. References, Edit. 1 Carat Gregory, CA. 1982. Gifts and Commodities. London, Academic Press. pp. 53. 2 Carat Salins, Marshall, 1963. Poor Man, Rich Man. Big Man, Chief, Political Types in Melanesia and Polynesia Comparative Studies in Society and History 5, 3285303 Do, 10.1017 forward slash s0010417500000 S2 SID 1452540593 3 Carat Gregory, CA 1982 Gifts and Commodities London, Academic Press pp. 5354 4 Carat Salins, Marshall, 1963 Poor Man, Rich Man, Big Man, Chief Political Types in Melanesia and 
Polynesia. Comparative Studies in Society and History. 35-32912. Do. 10.1017 forward slash s 00104175000001729 s 2 sid 1452540595 5 carat Salins, Marshall, 1972 Stone Age Economics New York, Aldean de Gruita P188 6 Carat Gregory, Chris, 1982. Gifts and Commodities. London, Academic Press. pp. 189194. 7 Carat A. B. Salins, Marshall, 1963. Poor Man, Rich Man, Big Man, Chief, Political Types in Melanesia and Polynesia. Comparative Studies in Society and History 35-32947 Do 10.1017 forward slash s 00104175000001729 s 2 sid 1452540598 8 Carat Salins, Marshall, 1963 Poor man, rich man, big man, chief, political types in Melanesia and Polynesia. Comparative studies in society and history. 35-328993. Do. 10.1017 forward slash s 00104175000001729. S2 SID 1452540595. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 9 Carat Gregory, Chris, 1982. Gifts and Commodities. London, Academic Press. pp. 10 Carat Strathan. Marilyn, 1988. The Gender of the Gift, Problems with Women and Problems with Society. In Melanesia. Barclay, University of California Press. pp. 143-7. Bibliography, Edit. Strathan, Andrew. 1971. The Rope of Mecca. Cambridge. Cambridge University Press. Onkas Bigmaka, The Koelka of Papua New Guinea, DVD, 1976, England's Granada TVs. Disappearing World Series, D.I.R. Charlie Noun. External links, edit. Killer, a similar exchange system. Categories, Culture of Papua New Guinea Economic Anthropology. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.